right, today we're going to be tying the foam beetle. So let's get your supplies here. We're going to be using the black 140 thread, the size 16 DF1 hook. Get your black foam, and then you're going to get your peacock hurl. If you need to pause here while you get those, go ahead and do that. Once you get your hook ready, we're going to mash the barb and then it get, get it secured firmly in your vise. All right, once that's done, you're going to take your thread and we're just going to tie on here. All right, wrap three or four times to the right and then back over the top of it, lift your tag end. I'll make that thread lay nicely on the hook. Then come in and I'm going to clip your tag end off. All right, and take your black foam now, and this is the size piece you're going to need. It's about one, one and a half inch, about a quarter inch wide. Once you get your first piece cut on your uh, foam, it's easy to use that as a template to cut your next piece. So use your scissors and snip it down. All right, it's about the size you need. Once you get that, we're going to lay it on top of the shank, and we're going to secure it down. You've got to move your thread to the front of the hook first, about an eye length behind the eye. So you can lay that foam down on the top. And as you tie it down, just give it a pinch. It'll help you to secure it in there. You don't want it over the eye. You want it just back right about there. And secure it down. This doesn't have to be pretty. We don't really want tight wraps on it. We're going to kind of loose wrap it all the way to the back. And then once you get that done, grab your hurl out of your bag. And you're going to want to get a nice long piece. You can probably get three nice long pieces, but as you see here, you want one that has nice luminescence on it. There are some that aren't quite as um, furry as others, so get one that kind of like this. It has good color on it. Get two or three pieces of that. Once you get that, then get ready. We're going to tie it down to the top of the foam. You can run it the full length of the shank. Tie it down best you can. Nice and firm. We're going to run that all the way to the front. Hold on to it as you move it so it doesn't wrap around the shank. And then at a severe angle, cut this off so we don't have a... Um, a sharp dam at the front of the hook. Now take your peacock hurl, lift it up, and you're going to wrap it around, and you're going to do touching wraps here. You're not going to do open spiral wraps. You're going to actually have each wrap of the hurl right next to the other. The first wrap goes all the way around, and then touch them as you move. They're going to be touching as you move down the shank. Once you get to the front, you're going to watch. We're just going to switch places with the hurl and the thread. Like that. Now your thread is in place to tie over the top and that locks it in. Get three or four nice wraps on it and cut this off and then you're going to secure it again a little bit more. A few more wraps to make sure it's on there nice and tight. All right. Now take, now take your foam and we're going to lay it over the top. Again, where you want it, and then give it a nice pinch. As you bring the thread over the top, two or three wraps. You're going to pull straight up on this. Get it where you want it, and then you pull up to tighten it. There you go. You get it where you want, three or four more wraps around. Secure it in place. Now you're going to come in with either a half hitch or your whip finish tool. Actually, you're going to cut the front off first, sorry. Cut it right above the eye. A couple more wraps. And then we come in with our whip finish tool. Or you can use your half hitch if you want to do that. All right. Two or three wraps of this. And we come in and we cut it off. Try to get it right next to it if you can. There you go. Now dip your bodkin in your head cement. And we're going to bring it in. And lay it right.
right on top and that head cement should drip right off into the back and bleed down into the wraps and make it nice and secure. There you have our foam beetle. Thanks for watching.